welcome to the next segment, which happens to be the final segment of my um, my little walkthrough that I wanted to do. Um, I had a little bit of good luck and bad luck these these um, these past weeks. Uh, what happened was my my kid got sick, and then I got sick. I got actually really sick uh, to the point where I um, I couldn't. I couldn't really, I couldn't be around clients. I couldn't go to work. Um, so that was good for this because I was, I was able to put in a lot of literally like 10 to 12 hour days, um, getting a lot of this, you know, minute stuff done, like detailing. Um, but the bad news was I couldn't talk. I couldn't say a sentence without coughing. Um, so I, I just, I did everything off camera. And what I was planning to do the last time you saw me, I was I was talking about fillers, if you remember, or you or you care. Um, I was talking about how I like to break up. I like to partition the buildable area into pockets, um, so it's more appealing to the eye and not so overwhelming to the builder. And like just to recap, I've changed this. I've just kind of scarred up the land. I've scarred up the land, and it kind of points to this, so it looks natural and. And I've added another hill here that kind of um, embellishes the um, river, the shape of it. So the building area is just not giant, open, and boring. It's got a shape to it. It's fun. It's not so big. And then also over here, this was this was kind of. If you remember, I was worried about I was worried about how much how many cars were going to be here. Like I think this is kind of it's set up nicely for a marina. And I was worried about how many cars and traffic was going to come through here because the, the nearest point to connect to the highway is way over here. Um, so what I found a way to do was I, I kind of pulled out these foothills to the mountains over here. And I just kind of dug out like a pre, a loosely done quarry. Um, I like to do that. I like to make, I like to make um, industry pockets. Um, but... First of all, this this ore color it, it kind of sticks out a lot. If I just kind of throw it, like paint it all over, it just kind of sticks out. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I chose to just kind of dig out the uh, the mountainside and just kind of tuck it away. So there's a nice um, separation between industry and where some some nice houses would go. So I like that. Um, yeah, so that's that's where we left off on the fillers. Um, what I wanted to do after that, before I got sick, was I wanted to make an episode about detailing, um, and then I was also I was also gonna make an episode about um, feature areas, but I really kind of started to think about it, and I don't really know what I would say. I um, other than you know just zoom in really closely and and be precise and take your time. Other than that, you know, I would probably tell you where I think they should be on the map. And probably only other thing I would say is it doesn't have to be a building or a dam or whatever. It can also be like a, like some ponds or a marshland, basically anything that you want to put in the map. That's very interesting. And you don't want the player to delete it. You want the player to work around it and interact with it. Like that to me is a feature area. I suppose like if you want to be on the subject, I suppose like this will be a, like this um, water, this ferry path will be a feature area. And, you know, like this will like I, I suppose this is a feature area, too, if you want to categorize it. But, yeah, we just I just have to scrap it because I've I've literally I've done all the work on detailing. So, I mean, if I get a chance to talk about it, I'll I'll talk about it. Um, but. Mainly, I'm just going to talk about the the fine little changes that happen before map publish, um, and then if I if I do it quickly, maybe I'll just spend a little like 10 minutes and just do like a, a cumulative review. We'll just kind of go over everything, and then we'll we'll hang it up. Um, well, since we're talking about detailing, like I think a lot of people think detailing is just like placing trees and rocks, and I don't think that's it at all. Um, like this, this shoreline was, was straight 
and I broke it up and I just added a point of interest. I added another layer to the pre-worked terrain. Same thing with here. Like this is detailing to me. I'm just adding another level, adding another bit of interest. Okay, um, here. So this this um, beach was a perfect semicircle. And again, I, I just pulled the land forward and made it more random and more. I just you know I just added interest. Simple things like that, and I'll literally go around, and I'll just keep doing that until I can't do it anymore. All this like underwater stuff, this is detailing to me. How you can see that, you know, you can see that there's a depth and a and a current to it, and and you know, like you can see, you can clearly see what's deep and what's shallow, and like this whole, you know, water comes through here and it it curls around this high point and there's growth this is detailing to me not the rocks and the i'm sure to an extent like laying a bunch of a bunch of like rocks and stuff is is detailing but i mean my form of detailing is all those extra emphasis on the land um so let's talk about um polishing i'm calling this episode polishing um so I think the best way I can explain this is, first of all, I'll be blunt. If you minimally care about your map, skip over this. It won't apply to you. Um, but like looking at this, I think at this point, everybody has a urge to, they have an urge to publish their map. You know, like, look at it. Like, it's looking pretty done, right? And I'm telling you to fight that urge at all costs uh, because your map's probably not done. Okay? Um, I used to have this all written down in a notepad. I used to have all these things written down, these final touches, and I've misplaced that or I've thrown it away because I felt I don't need it because I can just remember. Um but basically there was a lot of things to do and I'm just going to kind of talk about the important things that I do. Um, yeah, so let's begin. So I think the most important thing, well, not like not in any order of importance or anything, but one of the important things you want to do is you want to check your coastline. Coastline, like real coastline, the rivers, um, you don't want to see any trees where trees shouldn't be growing. Right, so pretty much wherever there's sand, like here, see that? Get out of there! It can't be there. Push like I'm gonna push all these back. I need a nice, even-looking beach. So we're gonna go through all that, um, and it's more than just trees. It's actually like you know, I try to keep a predetermined height on this, um, on the. Um, the degradation of the banks, you know, like I like to keep it. So I'm always checking like one, two, three, four, five, six. This one's two meters or yeah, it's two meters too high. So I have to bring, I have to knock it down too, which is right there. And now it's, now it's perfect again. And now that doesn't look right to me. So now I got to fill it in. And I like to have the live oak up in front because it just leaves a nice shadow there. Now it looks right. Um, so that takes a lot of time. And you would be surprised how much coastline there actually is on a map like this. Because I'm talking all the ponds, all the lakes, all the rivers uh, needs to be done. For me anyway, it needs to be done. While we're on the subject, use your move it and select trees. Um, I'm assuming you have move it, Lord help you. And do this. You might have the settings enabled where if there's a tree in the water, you don't see it, like the leaves aren't there, and you might not be able to see it. But every time I make a map, wouldn't you know it, there's a tree like in the dumbest spot. And I must just bump something, or I alt-tab out of the program and I accidentally click something, and I, like, I, I always find a tree like in a very easy to see, awkward spot, but I just don't see it because I'm not looking for it. So, you know, just take a few minutes and just go over all your water and see if anything lights up in the water. Um, you'd be surprised. Um, next thing, 
this might be a big eye roller for you. Uh, let's see if I can find one. Uh, here we, yeah, right away. So, um, for what I got, like for what I've made, um, let me back up. Um, making a tropical map for me was very um, uncomfortable. I've been to the Caribbean Sea like once in my life on a cruise ship. And it just, you know, like I close my eyes and it's hard for me to see it because I'm just not familiar with it. I can make snow capped mountain places all day long because that's the biome I live in. I, you know, like I, I have those references fresh in my head all the time. I can close my eyes and I can see it and I can translate it to the map I'm working on. Um, but for this, I had to look at a lot of images and a lot of Google Earth prior to. And when there's like a when there's a hill or a mountain, the vegetation, the trees, they go all the way up to the top. Um, there's no stopping it in a tropical environment. But I only have 250,000 trees to work with. Um, so we're not going to have any trees to grow on the cliffs. Where I live, the spruce trees are so thick that they have to grow on the cliffs. They do because there's just no earth for them to root in. Um, but for what I got going, I can't have any any trees. Um, I can't have any trees um, on cliff texture. Can't do it. So we'll be going over all that, and we'll be getting rid of all that. Um, these single palm trees too. We'll be getting rid of those too and we'll be replacing them with a live oak the best tree in the game um, so that's a big task and in order for myself to help me do that um, and to stay like thorough and organized this is just a little tip i do you've probably figured it out or know it already but um, there's 81 tiles so if you just use a generic grid system of all the tiles on the y-axis being A through I, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, and all of them on the x-axis being 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Um, this tile becomes C3. This tile becomes D3. This tile becomes C4. So if you assign, like, just tackling the map as a whole is, like, impossible. But if you just, you know, if you just, you know, load up the map and, and you know, I say, you know, I'm going to log on for an hour and I'm going to clean up, you know, nine tiles, like this whole top row. Then that's that's what I'm going to be. And I just take it in chunks. Um, and that's and that's just kind of how I do that. I just assign the tiles a um, designation. <clears throat> Excuse me. And that's that really helps me with it. Um, next. So I've already talked about this, but um believe it or not the node count on this map i i forget what the mods called csl something and i looked at all the counts and my my nodes were actually like not as many as i thought they were going to be um you know like i have nodes all over the place in places that they shouldn't be but i mean they're there like this is all stacked up there's nodes there. The Skyway, oh my gosh, there's like 200 nodes like here alone. Uh, I got a lot of nodes. So again, I'm just, I'm just deathly afraid that some big YouTuber is gonna build a city on here, and when he gets to episode 23, it's gonna, he's gonna be like, oh, I can't build anymore on here. There's too many nodes. That freaks me out. So. I get outside the 25 tiles and I'll just take like a chunk here uh, straight away and I'll delete that and I'll use move it. And I'll hold, I think it's alt. Well, what, yeah, it's alt. I'll just hold it down and we're going to clean up the nodes. And like what I'm doing, it's probably, it's probably really optional. Uh, maybe somebody smarter than me will watch this one day. And I just I have this belief that the less nodes there are, the CPU has the CPU does all this like trafficking pathing, you know, like it figures out where it's gonna go through the nodes. And my brain just tells me that if there's less of them, then it should work better. I think I, I, that makes sense to me. I don't know. So like I've never like went and tested it, but I just like to clean it up. So I mean you probably don't have to do this. I'm doing it because I'm just 
a freak about this stuff, lining up my nodes, just stretching them back. I didn't count how many I deleted. I probably deleted like 10. Um, so we got to bring this one over, this one over. I, I always line them up. We got to be lined up or it won't be as good. Oof, I might have problems with this. Line it up. How many? Uh, same amount of nodes I screwed up. Something like that. I think we're going to have problems over there. I'm going to have to redo it. And then I'll just double check. I'll zoom in. I'll bob in and zoom out. If the road disappears, it means I've stretched it too far. And like I figured that these are stretched too far. So I'll have to like pull some more over, which I will do because that's what I what I do. And uh, we're just going to get rid of as many unnecessary nodes as we can. Um, secondly, with the nodes, I will go around all the way and I will make sure that every node and adjacent node beside it are on the exact same height. Uh, there's always a bunch of nodes that somehow, some way, they're not the same height. So again, like this takes a couple hours, but I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to do it. And uh, that's that. Okay. Um, same thing with the um, gravel roads. I'll be, I'll be cleaning up the nodes too. Again, it's optional. It's just what I do. Um, what else? So test cities. you got to have the test cities. In your library as a, a new map to play load it up and we need to test out the networks it's what it's yeah it's what you're really testing out is kind of how it plays in the networks so let's talk about this so i really get excited making these perfect um off-ramp on ramps i don't like i have no controller but i'm not using it or do i even have no controller on here I don't even have node control on here because I don't use it. So with enough playing around in the right angles, you can make these these like perfect on ramp off ramps. And I just want to show you like how finicky they are. It's very easy to lose it, okay? Um, but doing this can freak out your traffic and give you problems. So what you need to do is start a new game with your test map and like for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build an intersection here, here, like all the areas where I have predetermined intersections, I'm going to build an intersection and I'm just going to, you know, drag out a couple roads, lay down some residential, commercial and in industrial, a lot more residential in every intersection. I'm going to hit the fast forward button for, I don't know, a couple months in the game and I'm going to check every area and make sure that um, cars are moving freely in there and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to I don't know why I'm clicking all this stuff I'm going to I'm going to set up a bus route and I'm going to have one bus route going like all the way from one city to the other and then I'm going to have the bus route again going from like going back and if there's any errors in your network like if there's any you know, problem inner like nodes or intersections or anything like that, you will not be able to make that bus line. It'll it it just won't find it. It'll say something I can't remember what it says, and then you'll know roughly like where your problem is because you know the bus line will just stop right there. Um. So yeah, that's it. Uh. While we're on the subject, you gotta. I don't. I don't have an explanation for it, but you need to build harbors. So what you want to do is place a harbor here to test this one and place a harbor here to test this one. Build some roads and residential like right off the harbor. Don't connect to the highway. Um, and then it'll force the, the ships to come to the harbor. And there's been times I ships just won't come. And I don't know why. Um, and if they're not coming, I just delete the track, delete the path and build it again. And um, and then the ships will come. So I guess it's it's like a very um, finicky thing these ship lines. 
Um, actually, speaking of which, a couple years ago I built a map, and there was only ships like coming from one direction. They wouldn't go the other way, and I couldn't figure it out. And I spent weeks trying to figure out what was going on, and I finally figured it out. If you, I think I'll make like a tips and tricks video one day, and I'll explain how to do this, and I'll like I'll explain terrain pulling and, and some methods I use to like make things that aren't possible possible. Um, but if you if you position these nodes in just the right way, you can force these um, ship lines to become one directional, where ships won't use one side; they'll only use the other side, which can be really cool. If you have like uh, like an island in the middle of a strait or a canal, and the ships will always choose one side to go around it. I think it like I had it, and I know it's possible. And I was actually going to do it on this map, and it just I just didn't it just didn't happen. Like it didn't fall in its lap to do that. So maybe for the next one, but it's possible. It's really cool. Um, so yep, yeah, you want to do harbors, test the harbors, do the test city. Um, and then what, what the heck was a, there was one thing that I was going to talk about. Oh yeah. So like I, I do it. It's one of the first things I do just to, cause I know it can be a headache for a lot of people as I get the water flow going, but you never know, like if you accidentally deleted uh, a water spawn or you pulled water or you pulled land over a water spawn and now it doesn't work properly. So just like, just double check your your water flow please so i i got this river all the way like the way i want nice and trickly all the way out of the bay which is what we need um next river i know i just did this one so that one's good to go um third one i don't even have to look i know this one's so solid um and then like again we want the water to just make its way out of the bay which it does I have a drain out there I should move the drain maybe a little bit farther away check this side and you know it does the water finds its way out which is all we really needed to do because we're never gonna get we're never really gonna get a um the water to not like we're never <coughs> excuse me we're never gonna get the water to like all the way go outside it's always gonna come in from the edge if you want tuna just get the biggest um, water spawn raise them all the way up put ones right beside it all the way down and you have tuna and it doesn't it's not even really that noticeable you know on on the water um, so yeah those are those are the things kind of like the main things um, other than just severely combing it over and you know if, if you have any cliff sides that don't have any weathering lines like i'll tackle them like i know this like like see that's barren so i need to really aggravate that and i'll do that like it'll all be done in time yeah so i think i think that's it for that and i guess we'll maybe i'll just quickly try to do this um recap so here's the shape of my map i chose not to use a terrain party Again, I like the 10th time I'm saying this, there's nothing against Train Party. I don't consider it cheating or anything like that. Train Party is a wonderful tool. It, it's great. I haven't used it in so long, I don't even know what it's called. It's not Train Party anymore, it's something else. Because um, another really good way to make a map is to you know load up, like load up a predetermined height map in, in Map Editor and just kind of let it take the lead and you, you let it lead you and you see how you can make it better you know that's another really great way to make a map um but for me like what i am looking for what i wanted to do what i saw in my mind i would never find this on train party i could find something you know that maybe had a piece of what i wanted but then i would probably i would probably just spend an equal amount of time blending it in or you know making a mountain on my terrain party match something that I needed to draw and uh, like honestly I, I might as well just I might as well just draw it out another pro another problem that I used to have was I'll try to say this clearly I would load up a terrain party and you know there'd be parts of it that I'd love and I would be 
I would be too it would hurt me too much to delete it to to get rid of it because it wasn't meant to be on the map but it was like on the train party and I liked it so much so it was kind of forcing me to to you know to do what I didn't want to do I hope that makes sense if not just forget it okay so this is the shape um, just a quick thing about things that I wanted um, this is my first buildable area it's about that big see and then this one's about twice that size between the rivers is what I'm talking about like between the water and then if you add up these two sizes it's about you know it's about the size of this and I like that just like I think that just kind of makes like an appealing look um, scientifically it does um, so I hope you agree with me um, touching or talking about the rivers uh, three different rivers three different characteristics and shapes first one is probably the most boring one but it's needed it gets thinner it gets wider um, yeah it gets thinner it gets wider it gets slower it gets faster second one this one I really went crazy on I don't know what got into me I have a lake that empties into it it gets narrower it gets wider it gets a lot wider this one's got islands in it this one doesn't so I have a difference in variance I love that um, this lake kind of forms in the middle it can overflow and it's been weathering this area for a long time I think it's just perfect for me um, the only thing I don't like is they're kind of shaped the same way I didn't realize that until I was done I'm like oh they kind of look the same like in shape but I mean I guess you call that harmony like you would call that harmony and if they were opposites you'd call that tension so I mean it's just they have harmony so I'm okay with that and then the third one is like completely different from the other one so it's perfect infrastructure so I have a main highway going through and then I have another highway which you depending on where you live would either call this like a ring road or a circular highway and I'm kind of really excited to see um, there's there's some really good creators that will they'll at this point they'll they'll pretty much hide two lanes oh they'll just hide another highway like under the ground or something and then they'll reconnect it here at the end so all that dummy traffic that flows through from this exit to this exit will skip your city and just kind of be behind the scenes and that's really like, it's a really smart thing to do and I I thought about it a lot and ultimately I decided not to do it here. Um, I just I don't really have a like I don't really have a main reason I just for what I built I think a lot of people are gonna come in via ship so maybe that'll ease up the traffic uh, and then like I guess my other thought would be if someone really cared that much they'd have 81 tiles anyway and they would just do it I guess that was my thoughts but it's a really good idea so if you want to do it I mean it's it's a good idea I'm just choosing not to do it um, and I'm also really interested to see if if people treat this ring road as almost like a bypass because you know like this is going to be like the main chunk of your city and there's just kind of like small pockets of buildable area out here so maybe maybe I don't know I'm just excited to see kind of what people do or are you know honestly I like this map so much that I might just build a city on it like I really like this I, I love how this, you know, this turned from just the the giant green square that's flat into this. Um, I'm like it's this hasn't been like the most severe workload that I've done with a map. Like some in the past have been harder, but as far as like I myself closing my eyes and seeing something that I wanted to do and it coming to life like this. I, I absolutely loved the process and I loved how it turned out um, like everything was thought out greatly by myself and it, it you know it, it worked like a charm my tree count came out perfectly I have my my resources bleeding into the 25 like if someone wants to do ore, they're gonna build this way if someone wants farmland I've got it tucked in right here if someone wants oil I've got it tucked in where is it like here and here and of course like the random water spots I just I'm, I'm just I really like this one I I'm proud of it I guess I'm proud of it basically as soon as someone gives me a down vote I'm seriously gonna jump off a building that's that's how much I love this one um, but anyway yep yeah, so I'm really excited to see 
like how people use the ring road or, or what they got going on. Um, so a brief recap, um, this will be with infrastructure and the fillers, buildable area, buildable area, intersection, buildable area, buildable area, buildable area, intersection. I chose to do this intersection. It is a starting tile. It is also the corner of the highway. It is a little bit harder for people to do. So I did it. I think this is called a, um, dog bone no this is a dumbbell this is called the dumbbell intersection um and you know it's just it's fun i like it um i also i while i got you i just i almost did like a little helper thing right here but i just i didn't do it i, I just didn't do it um okay and then like moving on this intersection is going to feed this buildable area. This is kind of a repetitive review, but this buildable area. And then this is what my one spot that I was worried about is here. Nothing I can do about it. Maybe someone will put a nice golf course there and it won't be so severe with traffic. Again, uh, buildable area. There's the intersection, buildable area here, buildable area here, which I just cut down because I put this hill in here and that does service there. Um, I did this intersection, um, but let's talk about it quick. So this is a one point roundabout, only one point of traffic goes through and it goes to this little pocket. And then there's two here, one, two, and I have, you know, kind of two little flat areas. So it's all set up for them. I did this intersection because there's, I just, I'm afraid there's too much stuff that can get jacked up by the player, like accidentally, accidentally deleted. Like, especially with, like, going over this, like, there's stuff that I just don't want to, like, break. So, I did that one. Um, this area, so this is my X factor to the map. This flat area is only accessible by uh, the ferry, through this little ferry crossing. I saw this, I saw something like this in Europe. Um, I think it was in Amsterdam, or somewhere close to there. I think it was in the Netherlands. And I, I, I saw that. I'm like, wow, that's really cool. And I saw a couple people do it in the game, like in their cities. And I'm like, I think you can put that in the map. That's just fine to do that. And yeah, sure enough, it was actually rather easy to do that. Um, so yeah, this area is only accessible by ferry. If someone wants to get a road there, I'm sure they can do that. If you don't have mass transit, then that sucks. Um, and then my last build, building area here, here in the port, and then that'll be serviced by the thing you build there. We're back to the beginning. And, hey, let me show you this. So this intersection works. I'm actually really proud of this when this came to be. Um, so this is like my natural uh, wonder park area. And if you want to go out from here, you can go right. Like you can go right, that's easy. But then to go straight and to go left, this is kind of fun for me. Is is you go on, and then if you got traffic manager, this lane's gonna have you go on the inside, and then on the inside waiting for you is like a turnaround, just a just a turnaround. Doesn't that's all it does. And the real beauty of this is again you're gonna be on the outside lane here, and you don't need to come back. Like you're not going to go on the inside lane to come back. It doesn't make any sense. So you're literally set up just to go out and 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 out that way. So it, I think this is going to flow really nicely. Um, so I'm really excited to try that out. Because um, I think like one of the problems with vanilla building, not problems. One of the challenges with vanilla building is you're usually you're usually forced to get you know, like bad lane mathematics where you have two lanes going into three, and, you know, all that stuff. But I like, I, I got it where there's three lanes going in the, a three lane highway. So I think that's just um, sensational. I'm super happy about that. Okay. So infrastructure check um, fillers. I pretty much just talked about fillers too. Like I'm adding depressions and hills and, and other things to aid the networks into um, the, the, the buildable areas of the land. Because like what I think one of the, a real successful map, like what I think a real 
successful quality of it is, is you're able to is you're able to divide up the land. You're you're able to make the land more manageable, but you're not able to see it that easily. So when I zoom out, it just kind of it doesn't look like anything. But when you really start to focus on like building and stuff, like I guarantee you, like everything's got its place and it's got its purpose. Like everything belongs. But when you like zoom out, it's not it's not anything. It's just it's just the way it looks. Um so that's like that's one of the things that I try really hard to do. Um so yep, yeah, that's fillers and then what detailing detailing and all this other fine stuff, I mean honestly it just to sum it up, it's just take your freaking time. Like there's no there's no rush to put it out, so just go over it and go over it again. Um, cause there's like, there's nothing worse than publishing your map and then, Oh, something's wrong with it. Like my roundabout has the roads pointing the wrong way, or there, I got trees in the middle of the road, or I got trees in the water. And then you're scrambling to, you know, make an updated version and update it, which can be a nightmare in itself because that's kind of complicated. And there's errors sometimes with that, or you, you know, you can misplace your files or you get them confused with one another. And so just, I mean, just get it right the first time. That's what I'm saying. Um, I think that's it. I think that's where, I think that's where, I mean, these are just some main general points that I wanted to share. And honestly, it's been like, it's been kind of therapeutic for me because normally when I'm doing this, I, I, I get on these three and four hour runs and I'm just wearing, you know, I'm, I'm just wearing like my headset and I'm like listening to a playlist or I'm listening to like the Bible on audible. I'm just, you know, I'm just kind of, I don't, it's just been nice to talk about it. It's hard to explain. Um, but it's just been nice to kind of portray my, my thoughts and my ideas and basically, if you've made it this far, if you watch one, if you watch zero, if you, well, not zero, but if you watch all of them or some of them, and and if you've just found one shred of value or one little thing that you said, well, that's cool. I think I want to try that in my next one, or or maybe I've inspired you to start, or maybe I've said something that just kind of gets you from that point where you make like a bland boring map to like a really awesome map you know i mean then i'm glad i did this i i mean it was no problem for me to make this i'm already spending all this time um so yeah i'll just i'll leave it here and maybe maybe i'll circle back you know in a year and i'll see if people watched it or you know people found it helpful um for me i mean what i want to do i i just like on the docket, I just want to update. I want to redo one of the old maps I did. And I mean, you know, like I'm 34. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make another map again or I'll make 20. Like, I don't know. Um, but basically another reason I did this is, you know, like I'm probably, you know, not going to do this forever. And maybe one day somebody watches this and they're, you know, they're like, wow, this guy really thought about this and had some good ideas and, and maybe that person just kind of is the new me or something you know I don't know um, because I, I'll be completely honest like years ago I I kind of felt really good you know like oh I was like oh everyone likes my maps and they think they're great and and now there's there's a lot of really good talent out there and it's so good for the game because like let's be straight like this simulation <coughs> excuse me this simulation, this game, it, it's wonderful. It killed SimCity. Um, but yeah, like brutally honest, I think the game developers left a gaping hole with the maps that they released with the base game and 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 or maybe they just knew that, you know, people would step up and, and make great works. Um But yeah, I, I I'm just kinda rambling now. But yeah, basically I don't know if I'll make another map or I'll make 10 more or five more or, 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 you know, whatever, but there's, there's plenty of good creators out there now and maybe you'll be one of them or maybe you are one of them already. Um, but yeah, I just, I hope that maybe I said something that caught your interest or maybe you thought all of it was good, but yeah, I'll, I'll like, if I make another map, I'm sure I'll make another map. 
down the road, but you know, maybe I'll circle back. And if this, like if people thought this was helpful, maybe I can do like a making of series and it'll be, you know, like 30 episodes and it'll, it'll be more in depth and more beginning to end and a lot more, uh, what's the word fast forwards where you time lapse and, and yeah, cause as far as, as far as doing it in one sitting with a time lapse, it's just, it is impossible for me. I'm sorry. But yeah, that's it. And uh, I'll be publishing this map probably in, you know, around 30 days, beginning of 2023. And um, I hope you like it. And I'll see you around.